Hello and welcome to the 77th tutorial in the Cocus 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at the UI loading bar element. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with a UI extension which contains loads of useful UI elements enabling us to create great menus, HUDs, etc. In this tutorial we will look at the loading bar element uh, and it is pretty self-explanatory in that it allows you to display a bar which visually shows the progress of loading something. This is commonly used in games on loading screens so the user knows that the game is still working and also the progress of the loading and usually what is happening behind the scenes is assets are loading the game or whatever scene is loading up is just getting all set up and if maybe if it's an online game it's loading and getting the data from online so first of all we need to include the extension module into our project so open up your project folder open up project.json in a text editor and then oh, actually we've already, I've already got it here but what you would have is it would appear like so and then you need to put a comma and then you need to put extensions like so and that's what you need to do to set up extensions and now what we're going to do is add our assets for our loading bar and we'll I'll go them right here so UI loading bar and it's a basically a progress bar and using the code it will increment it as you'll see in a moment so I'm just going to copy and paste this to res medium res I've added the asset for medium res uh, as they what the browser is using but you will need them for all free resolution they can be large, medium or small if you plan on publishing for other platforms than the web the next thing we're going to do is open up resource.js and in here, I'm going to put a comma. I'm going to do loading bar underscore png colon folder. And now, what we're going to do is specify the image for our loading bar. We're going to do slider progress.png. Save that. And now, what we're going to do is open our app.js as we have our asset added and our extension module included so this is comment at sprite and now what we're going to do is up here there's a couple of very global variables that we need we're going to need something called count which is at what position the loading bar is at so I'm going to put zero and we're going to have loading bar initialized or create declared up here set to null because we'll be initializing it down here and now what we're going to do is this dot loading bar equals new ccui dot loading bar this dot loading bar dot set name by setting the name you can access it later on just by the name or this node or maybe if you wanted to delete it or manipulate it somehow this dot loading bar dot load texture res dot loading bar underscore png now this dot loading bar and now we're going to set the percentage by default and I'm just going to put that at zero now we're just going to set the position so this dot loading bar dot x equals size dot width divided by two this dot loading bar dot y equals size dot height divided by two this dot add child this dot loading bar and now the next thing we're going to do is just schedule an update method so this dot schedule update and in here we're going to be actually performing the increment for our loading bar so put comma update colon function dt and in here what we're going to do is this dot count plus plus so we increment count and now what we're going to do is if this dot count is greater than 100 we're just going to reset count to zero 
but in a game in a game what you'll probably have is if it's greater than 100 don't increment it anymore that is it because uh, once it's loaded it's loaded and then you'll probably change scenes and load the required assets Press semicolon now we're going to do this dot loading bar dot set percent and in here we're going to do this dot count save it I think we're all ready to run now so if we just open up terminal and we're going to cd to our project directory so close this oopsie daisy click space drag our project run the cocos command probably just uh, loading the assets from the terminal so let's just wait for that He's taking a little one. Might just remove the cache, see if that speeds up the process. So, history, clear browsing data, just the cached images and files, that's all that's necessary. Go back, refresh. Okay, it seems to be onto the slider progress.png. Sometimes the clean does the job. Oh, hasn't done it yet because it's still loading. Come on, you're almost there. Hmm, it's weird why it's taking so long to load. Don't take this long. Let's try removing the cache again. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for a little while and hopefully it loads because this is weird. It usually doesn't take this long. Worst case scenario, I can show you in the simulator on iOS. I'm going to check out the console, just make sure it does not. Okay, and I know what the issue was. <laughs> Removing all that cash wasn't gonna help. I forgot map.js. I forgot a semicolon. Actually, I mean, I forgot a comma. So yeah, you always gotta have a comma on the last one, and any global variables before as well. Go back to our web browser. Refresh. And as you see, we have a loading bar that's going back and forth, back and forth, and it is loading. It is that simple to create a loading bar. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll be covering the UI rich text element. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.